Hi folks, and welcome to another Friday. It is May 21st, 2021, and this is Cord Cutting Weekly, the show where we wrap up the past week in cord cutting and streaming news. And this week we've got some major new deals and potential team ups from AT&T and Discovery. Elsewhere, rumors are swirling around Amazon's attempts to acquire MGM, Google's planning some updates to make Android TV a little easier to control, and more. But first, yes, of course, if you haven't done so already, please do consider clicking those all important like and subscribe buttons down below. That really does help us out and you'd be joining an awesome community at the very same time. And with all that being said, it's time to dive straight into the news, starting with some big moves from AT&T and Discovery. This week got off to a strong start as far as major headlines go. After rumors started swirling late last week and into the weekend, AT&T confirmed that it's reached a quote-unquote definitive agreement with Discovery. On AT&T's side, the company would spin off its Warner Media division, which would join forces with Discovery Incorporated. If the deal is approved by regulators, we would see a new company that combines media assets from both parties, including HBO Max and Discovery Plus, with Discovery CEO David Zasloff running the show. AT&T CEO John Stanky said in a statement, quote, This agreement unites two entertainment leaders with complementary content strengths and positions the new company to be one of the leading global direct-to-consumer streaming platforms. It will support the fantastic growth and international launch of HBO Max with Discovery's global footprint and create efficiencies which can be reinvested in producing more great content to give consumers what they want. In all, AT&T would receive around $43 billion through a combo of cash, debt securities, and Warner Media's retention of certain debt. AT&T shareholders would own around 71% of the new company, while Discovery shareholders would take 29%. Again, this all needs to clear regulatory hurdles first, but AT&T expects the deal to close sometime in mid-2022, which gives us all plenty of time to speculate about what this new company could mean for the streaming services involved. Could we see some sort of cross-pollination between HBO Max and Discovery Plus? Or maybe some sort of merged mega service? Of course, we'll be keeping tabs on this story for a long while. In the meantime, feel free to share your predictions in the comment section down below. Moving on, it was a busy week for Warner Media News, so just a heads up that we've got a few stories in a row here. Next up, we've got pricing and launch details for the ad supported tier of HBO Max. This week, Warner Media announced the lower cost tier would ring in at $9.99 per month with a targeted launch date sometime in the first week of June. That cheaper tier will have access to the full HBO Max catalog except for same day premieres of new movies, which kicked off with Wonder Woman 1984 back in December. We'll be following the story, of course, and we'll report back if and or when Warner Media narrows things down to a specific launch day. For now, though, how does that $9.99 price point sound to you? Would that get you to sign up for HBO Max if you haven't done so already? You know where to let us know. In still more HBO Max news, this week, the streaming service released an official trailer for its off-delayed but still much-anticipated Friends reunion special. The trailer shows off the original cast members gathering in some familiar locations, looking back on the show, and getting into some Friends trivia along the way. The special is set to hit HBO Max on May 27th, and you can check out the full trailer in the post link down below in the video description. The streaming service also shared that Grey's Anatomy star Sarah Ramirez is joining the upcoming Sex and the City spin-off and Just Like That. The show is set to reacquaint us with the original characters like Carrie, Miranda, and Charlotte through a 10-episode run that's set to start production later this year. Okay, we've got one more piece of Warner Media news to share, and this one might be of interest to any Harry Potter superfans out there. In case you weren't aware, it's been 20 years since the premiere of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And to commemorate the event, Warner Media Kids and Family are planning a five night unscripted special event. The festivities include a fan quiz competition show and a retrospective special. Both specials are scheduled to arrive on HBO Max as well as Cartoon Network and TBS later this year. We've got more details in our post link down below in the video description, but we'll keep you updated as we learn more specifics. In any case, it looks like all you Potter fans out there might have something to look forward to soon. Moving on, we've got still more mega deal rumors to discuss. This week, both the Information and Variety posted reports about Amazon offering several billion dollars to acquire MGM and its staple of thousands of TV shows and movies. These are all rumors, at least at the time we were recording this video, but the report suggests Amazon offered around $9 billion for the studio that's home or co-home in some cases to some well-known film and TV franchises, including James Bond, Rocky, and Stargate. 
We've seen recently that Amazon appears to be willing and able to spend billions of dollars on content for its Prime Video streaming service, so offering $9 billion or so for a catalog as large and as varied as MGM's wouldn't be all that surprising. Again, we're currently dealing with rumors at this point, but of course we'll continue to monitor this story and update if a deal is indeed made. This week also saw the return of Google's annual developer conference, Google I.O. The event was canceled last year due to COVID-19, but came back this year as an online virtual event for 2021. Among the keynote's highlights was an announcement that the company's smart TV platform, Android TV, has surpassed 80 million active monthly devices. To be clear, that figure does include the Google TV variant you can find on the Chromecast with Google TV, as well as TVs from Sony and soon TCL. Overall, Google says that Android TV growth was spurred on, in part, thanks to strong growth here in the U.S. In fact, the company says Android TV has grown by 80% domestically. On the software update front, Google also announced that new remote control features would be coming to Android. The goal there is to make navigating and controlling various Android TV features easier by using your smartphone. Users will have a dedicated trackpad area on their screen where they can control scrolling and menu navigation. You'll also be able to input login info or type in searches via your phone's keyboard, which could be easier than selecting letter by letter with a standard remote control. Google says the update is set to come to Android devices later this year. And finally, we've got a deal alert of sorts to tell you about. It looks like Roku's knocking the price down on several of its streaming devices ahead of Memorial Day weekend. The Roku Ultra, for example, is going for about $30 off its usual $99.99 price, while the Streaming Stake Plus is currently enjoying a $10 discount. You can find out all the details in our post link down below in the video description. And yes, I know we don't post about deals all that frequently on Cord Cutting Weekly, but let us know if you'd like us to highlight more deals more often, or if you'd rather us stick to news instead. Maybe we'll spin off major deals into their own video in the future. Stay tuned. And that about wraps up a pretty active week here at Cord Cutting Weekly. And as always, thank you all so much for tuning in. Before you leave, just another reminder that if you haven't done so already, we'd really appreciate it if you clicked on that like button as well as that subscribe option. That would really help us out and enable us to continue producing more videos for the channel. On Wednesdays, Jess hosts our live Q&A session with our viewers and subscribers, and then on Thursdays, we dive deep into specific topics like hardware reviews, software reviews, new streaming services, and new technologies, or this week's look at the world of budget 4K streaming devices. So we're talking about a variety of impressively capable devices out there, including the $49.99 Chromecast with Google TV, the $39.99 TiVo Stream 4K, the $49.99 Fire TV Stick 4K, and two options from Roku, the $49.99 Streaming Stick Plus, and the brand new $39.99 Express 4K Plus. And then there's Cord Cutting Weekly every Friday, where we wrap up the past week in cord cutting and streaming news. For now, though, my name is Philo Palermo. I hope you all have a safe and wonderful weekend. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you all next week. Take care.